A very warm welcome to one and all. One small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. Let's start the day with positive energy. Your attitude determines your direction. I would like to welcome Dr. K. Nagarajan sir, Associate Professor and Head, Research Department of Astrology of our Vigas Research College. Dr. K. Nagarajan sir had completed MSc. Yumphal, BA, PGDCA, and awarded his PhD in zoology in 2016. He has 22 years of teaching experience, also 12 years of research experience. His area of specialization is limnology. He guided four Yumphal scholars. He attended orientation course in Madurai Kamraj University, Madurai and two refresher courses in Kerala University, Trivandrum, and Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. He received a minor project funded by UGC title, Hydrobiology of Kulu Sunday Reservoir in Vidhanagar District, Tamil Nadu. For that project, he also got an appreciation award from PWD office, Vidhanagar, to procure the fund for Reservation rehabilitation and renovation work from Tamil Nadu government. He, he held various positions at Vigachirisil College, namely, Test Talent Exam Coordinator, Member in Vigachirisil College Examination Office, National Talent Search Exam Faculty for 24 years, and Member in Vigachirisil College Sports Committee. He also acted as Member of Biochemistry Board of Studies at Triple B College and member in research journal of environment sciences, international journal of environmental sciences, and Indian journal of fisheries science, member in zoology PG board of studies in Anja College, Sivagasi, and member of editorial committee of Indian journal of natural oh. sciences. He is the recipient of best scientist award and awarded by both science society, Tamil Nadu scientific research organization, Chennai, and fellow of both science society established under Charter of PNSRO Chennai. Dr. K. Nagarajan sir attended international level and four papers as a oral presentation. Four papers, various papers as oral presentation. And he had invited guest lectures to various academic institutions and acted as a resource person in and around Vidhanagar. She shared the Women's College poem to Kungunad Arts and Science College, chairperson of Nanda Arts and Science College, Kalaimakal Vidyalaya Matriculation High Service School, Roy Petai, Chennai, during the year 2016 and 2017. I invite Dr. K. Nakarajan sir, session chair of Biological Sciences of International Virtual Conference, to introduce Professor Dr. Jagbi Singh Kiti and Professor Department of Zoology and Environmental Sciences, Punjabi University, Patiala, Punjabi, and India. Sir, please. Virudhanagar Sandipan Adar College, jointly with the Pearl Foundation for Education Excellence, proudly organizing international conference on recent trends of innovations in science, engineering, and social sciences. Really is a very great prestigious conference for all of us. I wish that this great conference a great success. It's going to be held for today, tomorrow, and day after tomorrow. Dear participants, on behalf of the organizers and myself, I have immense pleasure to introduce the first resource person of our conference, experienced campaigner, a great professor in zoology. We are really proud that zoology professor Dr. Jagbir Singh Kirti is going to give deliver the talk on environment degradation and human health today as the first session of our conference. Very glad to introduce you, sir, to all our participants. Professor Dr. Jagbir Singh Kirti is, belongs to the Department of Zoology and Environmental Sciences. He is a Punjabi, Punjab University professor. His area of specialization is Entomology, systematic, Systematics, Taxonomy, Biodiversity, Vector Biology. He secured B.A.C. degree 
MSA degree from as a first rank and PhD from Punjab University, Patiala. Professor Jagbir Singh is a great experienced professor having membership of advisory in SERB, ICMR, UGC. He has a prestigious position of a nodal officer of Swachh Bharat. He is a very proud to be a coordinator of school in insect biology, external expert for defense research. He is a chairman and president of various forums. Professor Jagbir Singh is a life member of and fellow of Indian Academy of Environmental Science, Society for Advancement of Insect Sciences. He is a life member in different society and different associations. He had secured with 17, more than 17 medals and enormous awards to his credit. He acted as a curator. He worked as lecture cum curator. He served as reader. He had the designation of an associate professor, professor and head of the department from 1986 onwards up to 2015. He enjoyed all these positions. The great professor for the session we are having today in the morning, who has published 293 papers, 203 in national and 90 international papers. Professor Jagbir Singh has published six books. He had visited the foreign countries as a, a guest lecturer and professor, in more than 20 countries he has visited. And he had completed already 11 R&D projects. It, uh, he had written six invited articles. Under his uh, supervision, 23 candidates have been awarded with PhDs. Right now, seven under supervision. He had a very good uh, experience in teaching ecology, evolution, taxonomy, agriculture, medical entomology, and insect anatomy. Te technically also, Professor Jagbir Singh is uh, high, having high proficiency trained taxonomist on order Lepidoptera and Diptera insects. Such a great eminent professor we are having in the right in the first session itself. And personally, I'm very happy to have a, such a great uh, zoology professor with all his good wishes. Sir, all the participants, myself and everyone, is very eager to hear your uh, delivery lecture on environment degradation and human health. Sir, please, I happily and uh, very uh, thanks to all the organizers for giving me the very great opportunity to introduce uh, such a great professor of our country sir i welcome you on my behalf and i hand over the session to you sir kindly sir proceed thank you mr very good morning to all of you thank you so much dr muthichelian and all uh, organizers my friends, I'll be talking today to you on environment degradation and human health. All of you know that we are facing such a very serious situation these days. When we are talking about environment degradation and so many diseases, we are passing through COVID. All this is happening for the last uh, two decades. We have got about more than 30 new diseases and all these diseases uh, they are bothering us like anything. We have passed through many, many viruses. Dengue is a big problem. Dengue, hemorrhagic fever, malaria, filaria, chicken guinea, Ebola virus, and so many other viruses. So that means, what are the reasons behind that? I feel that most of the reasons they belong to our environment. You see, all these days, we find a very clear sky, very clear weather. Of course, time is very tough. So I'll be talking to all these things. Our prophets, our Vedas, our Guru Granth Sahib always says that our environment is supermost. Even, uh, you can go to the second slide. Even uh, Guru Nanak, 550 years back, if you see this message, he said, Pavan Guru, Pani Pita, Pavan Guru, Pani Pita, Mata Tartu Mahat. 
the translation is in front of you that they have referred air to as your guru and water as your father and of course our mother planet so that means that was the sanctity krishna gave so much importance our devis our gurus our so many uh, devtas they have all talked about environment but somehow the humanity we all lost all these connections next slide so that means our country is great mother earth planet is great out of 17 mega borders countries we are the 12th largest mega border dwarf country of the world we are proud that we are having so many endemic species more than 372 mammals they are endemic to india similarly when we see we have great great number of insects so the diverse diversity is great next slide so that mean our india is so good beautiful mother india we have all kind of environment we have all kind of oceans all kind of ecosystems but somehow we have not uh, uh, kept it nicely we have degraded it to the maximum so what i uh, yeah there is some problem yeah so that means uh, when we say mother india mother india is so great that we have not conserved it nicely now i talk little bit about on insect diversity insects they are the two third of the whole annual population there is no concept of arthropod conservation in this country and how many of us know that about insect conservation when all other countries of the world they have really done so much great we are the largest silk producer we are one of the great apiculture country you know there is lot of uh, and all these things are going on for the last 500 4000 4, years back so beautiful mother india is there we have great insects we have great tigers but the thing is how much we have conserved next slide so that means things are moving and we have never you know we have over exploited our resources there is a good saying in uh, guru granth sahib bina santokh na hum ko raje without contentment nothing will happen we have given over emphasis to everything we have over exploited in punjab now we are less than 3% of forest cover and that's the same situation in haryana and other countries because of green revolution we have to produce food and we depended upon the, those things and whole country was given grains and all that but there is no forest now in punjab 197000 plants were cut just 3 years back from chandigarh to bathinda but they were not planted back so these are the reasons uh, next slide so that means we are suffering on account of now whole amazons were burning recently australia was burning our uttarakhand forest they burn throughout the year so that means we are doing so much harm to the mother nation and that's why when i say that more than 30 new diseases have come during the last two decades and recent you know h1n1 ebola and this nipa virus has come in kerala uh, it had two three cases that means because of this kind of environment degradation uh, next slide burning earth forests are burning amazons were burning just next slide you can run uh, two three slides like that and this is happening india is burning too much of forest uttarakhand it will start burning in the february and uh, just see the removing of the trees 30 more 34 million trees are cut in a year only from amazons and amazon is number one hot spots of biodiversity india is the 12th one australia all america so you see we are cutting trees like that but we are not planting like so our biodiversity is suffering next slide so this is happening not uh, yes next next so all these uh, uh, and then you can stop at this stage and then we need a laxity we need so many other things and we are running coal plants and just imagine the next click of this slide uh, will show you how much environment is being polluted next slide so monstrous gases are there one such coal plant in a year next slide will produce so much that you will be astonished to note on their screen please have next slide just tap yeah yeah just see this slide how much one coal plant produces kind of toxicity in the air and how many years it takes to clear it china has built up more than 500 coal plants india is building so many coal plants and just imagine one coal plant is living 114 pounds of lead 
225 pounds of arsenic and what not. One flight from Delhi to London leaves so much these gases that it takes about 80 years to clear that. So that is the kind of degradation and that's the kind of all these coal plants we are building up, not to talk about other things. Next, next slide. So I'm just showing you, you all these things because, and we have just kept a kind of haze on Himalayas for the last 30 years. Punjab and Haryana, they are burning paddy straw, wheat straw. They are burning everything during biomass is burning. And we have got this kind of haze on Himalayas. Our glaciers are melting like anything. 479 square kilometers of glaciers, they have melted. Next slide. And still they are melting. And uh, you see, the kind of development disaster is great. You are building houses in every place, agricultural land, you are burning it. And that is a kind of disaster. Next slide. So population is also increasing. And it will be 9 billion by 2050. We have already crossed long time back 7 billion. And you see the kind of vehicles. Few years back when I used to see, there used to be 17 lakh or 25 lakh vehicles. Now Delhi and NCR has one crore vehicle. And when they burn kind of diesel and petrol, about 3 lakh liter petrol goes waste. Uh, just when the uh, vehicles, they stop at the next slide, uh, at the crossing and other things. That means too many vehicles, shelter problem. You are building up vertical houses, changing all the kind of ditches. Next slide. So you are getting everything burned and you are moving trees. And then this slide, people are moving. We were expecting by 2015, 55% people. But by 2019, already 53% people, they have moved to urban places. That means tremendous pressure on your uh, hygiene, on your sanitation, on your cities. And we are doing it continuously. People are, uh, they have started moving to urban uh, houses and we are having all kinds of slums coming up to our big cities and many more diseases are coming. I give you one example that we never had chicken guinea in uh, Punjab. 2016, it was first time chicken guinea stuck us. Similarly, we never had dengue before 1996. So that means all these new diseases, they are entering new areas. Next slide. So that is a global trend of urbanization. It's happening. And see the vehicles, as I told you, more than one crore they are uh, on the roads in NCR region. Next slide. Similarly, as I told you, that one flight from London to Delhi. And you see, when so many people die in uh, the crossing the river, so many people. Uh, next slide. And you will find many, many people on the trains. You can run the slides, two, three slides. And you will find all this kind of population increasing. Next slide. And you will find there is a scarce problem of water and other things. Sometimes it is too much snow. Sometimes it is too much heat. I call it as freaky weather. And this is happening in every part of the world. Global change is taking place. Last year in America, there was too much snow in Harvard and other areas, New York area. And two years back, it was so hot in Paris, the temperature was reaching up to 37 degrees Celsius. Same thing is happening. Too much of, uh, you know, heat, too much of snow. So we are having these kind of, next slide. So water scarcity is going to hit in India 2039. There will be no water left in Punjab and Haryana for irrigation. Now, when I say Pavan is so, uh, is like a guru, why Guru Nanak said it? In Gitanjali, Rabindranath Tagore ji says, he was asked, why don't you write an international anthem? You have already write, written a national anthem. His reply was to uh, Balraj Saini on an interview, because that international anthem was already written by Guru Nanak. Guru Nanak when went to Puri and was standing in front of Jagannath Puri Mandir. He was just going to have a darshan of Jagannath Bhagwan. But he was stopped because Aarti was going on. So he narrated a Aarti over there. And that Aarti is so beautiful. Rabindar Natego writes, I speak Gagan me thal, Rav Chand Deepak Bane Tarika Mandal Janak Moti, Dhoop Malay Anlo Pavan Chavro, Kare Sagal Bulurai Fulant Jyoti Gagan. Ye jo Gagan hai, ye jo Akash hai, the sky. And isme jitne jo chand tare hai, ye daily uski Aarti karte hai, Pavan uski Aarti karte hai. And Rabindranath Tagore said, because Guru Nanak wrote that great international anthem for the mother planet. So I abandoned the idea. 
So that was air, common guru. And that air we have to breathe. We have to keep it neat and clean. That water as a, as a, as a father. So that's what Guruji said. That's what Krishna said. Krishna says, if you really need water, why are you asking water from Indra Devta? Go to Gwardhan. And what is Gwardhan? A heart. That is biodiversity. So that means our culture was so great. Our religion was so great. But we have lost that kind of approach. Next slide. So our air is polluted. Our water is polluted. And our temperatures are rising. Next slide. And you see, and that's the problem. How much uh, floods are coming? Too many floods, too many droughts. Next slide. So we'll be more warm. And you see, during the last decade, starting from 2001 to 2010, these eight years was the hottest years. And now, 2011, 13, 14, 17, and 19, that is the decade, this decade, they were the hottest years. Next slide. So that means all these years are increasing and carbon dioxide is already moving so fast 34% it has increased during the last 150 years. Next slide. So that means continuously uh, during the 100 years, it has crossed 1,200%. So all this is happening. International Climate Panel uh, that's doing continuous research. And beautifully in 2008 and 2018, they have said why not to involve women? Because there is a gender bias. So gender adaptation has been taken up so that you see what happened in tsunami in indonesia one lakh women they got killed by tsunami because they were never told that uh, how to swim because most of them are burkas in burkas so that was a problem that we have to teach our women we have to educate our women and one young writer says you know when you teach a man you a man teaches a man but once you teach a woman she teaches generations so that means we have to do this gender adaptation because she is a person who tells the kids at home, Ma, mother says that you have to save laxity, you have to do this thing and not that thing. She can make them environmentalist at home and later on they can look about their environment. Next slide. So we have to start it at from home. Uh, you see, our earth is warming like anything and it has already warmed every year. We are cutting so many trees, as I told you, 34 billion trees are cut. And that is almost of the size of Italy. Next slide. So this is continuously happening. And all these genetic diseases, 25% of carbon dioxide emission will be stopped if you deed afforestation. Don't do deforestation too much. Start afforestation. But we don't plant trees. We only remove trees. Next slide. So this is, uh, this is the process which is happening. Very good news, those who take egg. Very soon you will be taking banaya banaya omelet aapko mil jaya karega. You will get all this uh, omelet ready from the nest even with the kind of heat it is generating. Next slide. Just to make you happy. So all oh, these things, you know, water. I remember those days because I'm a farmer. I have my farm. I used to drink water from the fields, from the tubule. Now we cannot drink water at home. Even we have to put so, so many arrows and all that. Earlier when we used to go to Dalhaji or Shimla and other places, you see beautiful springs and we used to take water from these springs. Everything, now sanitation is so much a big problem in the cities. Sewerage is flowing along your water pipes. And many times the water has mixed up. So water uh, is a big problem in the cities. Next slide. And sometimes they get mixed and you have cholera, waterborne diseases. Networking supply is so bad. And many times I have seen in Delhi, these are the slides from your own country. And you know, the water get mixed. Whole Patiara, whole uh, Mohali, whole cities in around South India, they get, you know, this kind of water and people get so many uh, diseases like cholera and other things. Next slide. So networking supply is a big problem. Now you see, this slide tells you that if you don't mend your ways, maybe you spend 5,500 billions of euros, but you will not be able to control it. It is a time to become, everybody has to become environmentalist, everybody has to become conservationist, only then we'll be able to uh, save this mother planet. Next slide. You see all these countries where the color is just dark brown, they have already done their bit. They have increased the uh, greenhouse gases, 
now india and china as i told you they are doing little bit for that so that means we have done lot of damage to the mother planet in the 21st century next slide so ha uh, money money yeah this is one reason that most of your uh, places around bangladesh your own coastal cities they are going to be maldi people had a meeting under water please save us and they said it and ultimately what is the reason because we are producing so much uh, greenhouse gases next slide so we have to save we have not to burn pedistra we uh, himalayan glaciers as i said they are melting like anything next slide you will see that how much we have done damage to the himal uh, uh, this glacial 449 ice sphere meters gone since 1962 and 466 glaciers next slide they are melting how much water how kind of and you see the ganga is so much polluted satluj is so much polluted our rivers are so much polluted earlier we used to see dolphins just in every place in the ganges now ask the experts so all these animals are suffering next slide all our uh, polar bears are suffering our penguins are suffering and we are constantly losing species 1 million species of animals they'll be eliminated they'll be extinct from this planet and i tell you by 2050 50 uh, half million plants will also be not be there so species are continuously going on they are continuously being uh, you know uh, they are becoming extinct and this rate six largest extinction is happening and we are losing our animals like anything so that's why everybody in every home has to be an environmentalist continue next slide so everybody has to be an uh, environmentalist and we have to stop uh, all these kind of things so that means uh, all these polar bears now they are suffering they are you see instead of ice they are becoming cannibalistic they are eating their own people so that's what happening we are losing so beautiful animals next slide i have seen in alaska that how the animals are suffering polar bears as i told you that they are dying of starvation cannibalism next slide so uh, tap it and you will find they are drowning cannibalism it's happening next slide next slide purpose is to make you aware purpose is to make students that they have to be and uh, we are losing all beautiful species cheetah india lost so many times back we are requesting iran to provide us one male and female but they have refused so all these animals uh, they are becoming extinct and see in this country as i told you that we have never bothered these all tigers were at sundarbans in danger next slide but thank god they are so uh, good tigers so they have kind of so much uh, ecological adaptation that they got saved in tsunami when we lost one beautiful thing is in uh, andaman nicobar we lost a complete air base we lost jawans but only who was not touched that was the tribal people because the tribals they are so naturalist they are so environment loving they one night before the tsunami struck they started moving up hills and when they move up hills you know they could save themselves we lost air base we lost jawans but not even a single tribal man got killed in tsunami so that is the Uh, you know thing so these gases they are polluting oceans rivers lakes continuously and uh, we have a big problem in this country that's of drinking water all these increased carbon dioxide that's leading to a uh, kind of acidity and we are losing our uh, you can see corals in india we have beautiful corals last year i could go there i could see beautiful corals under water but this heat and acidity they are just uh, Uh, making them off and we are losing all those of beautiful corals and the time will come on one side of your screen you are having healthy corals when the other side you are having bleached corals so mind it those bleached coral your future generation will see and all these corals will be extinct by the end of this century next slide so that kind of environment deg uh, degradation and then due to this all global warming is happening more fires are coming up more floods are coming up more droughts are coming up more hurricanes are coming up more tsunamis are coming up sometimes you are having katrina rita wilma ella lella nargis kitne ek naam lo tsunamis umfan 
Kerala tragedy. All these rivers they have already finished. So that means all these kind of tragedies in India, in the Kerala tragedy, Kashmir tragedy, Odisha tragedy, they are continuously uh, happening. And we have to bother about our environment. This is the time that Guru Nanak said that we have to think about those things. And that's why we have to give them respect like uh, Pani ko respect deni padegi baap ki tere. All these are uh, disappearing ponds in Alaska. They have already disappeared. And you see all these kind of, uh, 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 you can see these Katrina's, Rita's, Vilma's, they are happening. In India, we lost 10,000 people. Next slide. 10,000 people in Uttarakhand tragedy. But in Katrina, they lost only 1,836 people. There was a lot of. So these are some of the scenes you will see on your screen. Floods in your Mumbai. Next slide. You will see, you know, what, what tsunami did to people. Somebody asked tsunami victims, what should they do? Now, what is the, they say, you see, what we have suffered. Next slide. Nobody can suffer like that. So you see, this was a statement given by Bush during Katrina. That is a heck of a place. But we face all these kind of things every year. So these are some of the scenes of tsunami, uh, the pictures I'm showing you. So ask them how much they face. Next slide. So purpose is until and unless everybody adopts the kind of, uh, an, a, a, as an environmentalist, 80% of the increase flooding is going to be in Asia. As I told you, 500 coal plants are coming up in China, 400 coal plants are coming up in India. So that means all these countries, they are now will be adding to carbon uh, and or chlorofluorocarbons and other gases. These are some of the scenes of tsunami. Next. Yeah, quickly, three, four slides. You can run these are tsunami slides. Yeah, next slide. So these are the sufferings. These are the scenes. So who will protect us? Maybe we should ask tsunami victims. Nobody is going to protect us. We have to protect ourselves. So that means we have to bother about our environment. Otherwise, we'll continue to uh, suffer like that. Next. This is tsunami scenes. So disrespect to mother nature in India has become too much. We are so, we used to be so good people in the world. We should be so neat and clean and nice people, but now we are the most, we damage mostly environment. So we have given most disrespect to mother nature. And this is true. See our trains, see our places, how much we spit on the roads, how much we urinate on the roads, what kind of campaigns we run, how many people they bother about Swash Bharat. So all these things, cement industries and other things, next slide. So we are day by day, we are increasing environmental degradation and we are coming to that stage that we have started suffering from all kinds of human health problems. You see, cement production is adding significantly to carbon dioxide emissions. Next slide. Quickly, uh, you can run slides and uh, yeah, next slide. Next slide. Yeah, this is happening, you know, all, all ice is melting. Next, next slide. Three, four slides you can run like this. Most of these animals are suffering I've already. You see this beautiful slide, go back. These fishes are giving you a, map, a message. Uh, yeah, back. They are giving you a very good message. You stop it, otherwise uh, uh, they'll have to. Uh, because water is rising. So they will have all these sharks, they will have shikar of humans. So that's a very good message. Next slide. Earth is melting. Your kids will be finding difficult to have this. We are using too many of uh, too much of insecticide, pesticides. Too much of our food is being all these kind of insecticides, biomagnification, amplification, and all our foods they are so much uh, you know polluted, and our kids are suffering. People are suffering from cancer. Next slide. So that's why uh, we have to think garbage disposal. Now you lost. Uh, Many animals like vultures. Vultures was too many in our northwest India. Now you don't find them. And when you see all these photographs, you see all animal garbage, all animal uh, corpses are there. Nobody is to remove because they were the natural cleaners. 
now only insects they remove all these deadly things and we don't even conserve insects so this is a big problem we have to uh, think about our sparrows we have to think about our vultures otherwise there will be big problem because they are the best biological indicators insects they are the best indicators of environment so we have to bother about all these things next slide you see earlier cows were dying i will show because students will be there some of the plastics if you want to make india clean we have written many times to modi saab that we have to clear we have written him many times that we have to make these plastic we have to ban it but in india nothing is banned people use it go to next slide not only cows are killed now most of the next slide all kind of things we put in the jitne bhi dharmik function hai all bottles we all plastics we put it in the oceans we put it in the rivers we pollute all our water sources kabhi durga ma ki puja kabhi ganesh bhagwan ji ki puja we all do all these things aur kitna internet so thank god still the sea is alive though we have so much plastic in it abhi mauritius mein jo spill is hua and you see plastic ki slides das dikhaunga aap dekhna what kind of damage they are doing to our animals next slide next slide only 1% of the bags are recycled what i have noticed in these countries i visited the taiwan korea hong kong they have next slide they have really banned it but in india the ban is just in few states so what is happening next slide you see all these five seven quick uh, plastic slides that most of these plastics china has banned it bangladesh has banned it rwanda has banned it but in india it's going on next slide so where these plastic bags go they go to your jungles your tigers eat it next slide your lions eat it and they do not know that they have not to consume these these are not food and many of our animal species are dying next slide recently some whales were taken out in many countries in thailand and other places when they were dissected there was all plastic in their bodies all these bags were there next slide so we are losing uh, all these plastic bags they are entering from your place to your sewerage to your lakes to your rivers and then to your sea next slide and you know animals then eating it and dying it and these plastic bags have been spotted even in spitbug falkland islands arctic circle wherever you go you will find these plastic bags in bangalore you see the moment you come uh, outside the airport and in many other countries all railway stations all filth and the filth is mostly of these plastic bags next plastic bags they account for 10% of the debris in usa plastic bags they photo degrade over time break down to toxic polymers and they get mixed with your waterways they get mixed with your with your earth next slide so ultimately that is coming back to your food chain eventually your soil is contaminated your waterways are contaminated next slide and you eat all these things small small polymers next slide and that comes to your food plate as a consequence all these microscopic particles are entering your food chain and your body next slide so that means you are finding this animal carrying plastics is a huge loss to all these animals next slide this kind of environment degradation and this kind of spillage of oil it has happened many times so birds they become entangled in it lot of birds run these three four slides quickly so that means uh, you are killing your animals you are killing your birds uh, next slide next slide ah yeah see because they don't eat see they, they are dying what should we do very simple you will find very simple in one bag which you can keep of cloth bag next slide which your dadi ma your grandmother your grandfather used to do move to the next slide so that you will see that kind of bag in your car in your scooter you can save six bags a week next slide you can save 24 bags a month next slide you can save more than 300 or 288 bags a year 
So India is 130 million people. You can save, average person can save 22,176 bags. Imagine billions of these bags. And they should be banned now because you cannot ban, ban all these kind of things, but at least these kind of carry bags, they should be banned as Bangladesh did it, as 90% of the bags, China did it, and they are not, uh, you know, it's many countries in Europe, they have done it. We have done in South uh, India and some part of Himachal and other areas, but in then people take, and they are not bothering, they are uh, polluting the environment. So next slide. So we have to make this Rwanda. It's a beautiful country. They, they, they had this ban in 2005. Next slide. So why not to have those bags which our grandfather, grandmother, great, great grandfather used to do it. So we have to uh, do this. Otherwise, India will be uh, like never swash Bharat. That has to be done in India. Next slide. So that is a kind of what I'm showing you. It's not, it's just to sensitize you that this is happening. Next slide. Quickly run three, four slides. So as you see this, China is saving how much? 37 million barrels of oil. Why can't India do it? Because we are producing. This is a beautiful slide. Nature can not be recycled. Rubbish can be recycled. Next slide. So we have to uh, give respect. Uh, leave, uh, run these four or five slides because a lot be speaking. There's too much e-hazard, too much uh, this uh, high track trash in India, in for other countries. People are doing it, removing it, putting it in the other sea. Now India is becoming a little bit mighty. We have stopped uh, uh, the countries which were used to put all this in India. Next slide. Run these three four slides. People are making food in the same slide, uh, in the same handi and in the same and this is happening so they that's also picking effect on their body in the evening they are making food in the same thing in the morning they are putting lead in it so next slide now you see this is stop here uh, and uh, you see we have done demographic changes lot of development we have done we are still uh, you know depending upon the kind of uh, uh, colonial hangover too much market hype now in india why farmers are committing suicides? Why the system is not good? Many states, they are not eating enough food. Why the food cannot be taken from Punjab and Haryana, can be distributed to those people? Every year, we put millions of food, tons of food to the sea. It gets spoiled because there is no place to uh, store it in Punjab and Haryana. So thing is, these kind of affairs, somewhere governments are also responsible. As I told you a little bit during the last uh, 30, 45 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. That means we have destroyed these things stepwise and we are ruining our environment because we are depending upon those old things, reliance on the old methods, colonial hangovers, market hype, only rice is being given price, wheat is given by price, other crops are not given due importance in India. That's why agricultural policies are being changed. Swami Nathan said a uh, long time back, we had the green revolution, but now the time is we have to have organic food. We have to have not depend upon insecticide and pesticides. So things have to be changed. Next slide. Otherwise, the effect on human health will be too much. Now see this slide. There was a time when you used to fetch water from the natural resources. Natural water bodies used to be there. Every village used to have a pond in India, particularly in Northwest India. We used to have a diverse ecosystem. Rotation of crops was a major thing. Now we have a uniform ecosystem. Only rice is grown in millions of acres in Punjab. Millions of acres of Punjab wheat is grown. You have pest problem. We used to have a stable ecosystem. Now we have an unstable ecosystem. Everything used to be endemic. Now every thing is becoming epidemic. So you imagine the kind of things we are doing to the environment, those water ponds in the villages, they were natural. And there was a natural harvesting of water. Now water tables are going so down in Punjab, 115 zones have become black zones. There'll be no water left after 2039. 
we have to depend for our food on insects and other things that's going to be the scenario next slide so that's happening global changes are of course there global climate change are happening we are uh, spoiling our mother uh, planet by ways of polluting it in many ways next slide Vector-borne diseases, as I told you, water-borne diseases, they are coming up like anything. We never had dengue, we never had pests. No, in order, you know, see, there is no animal, no organism is a pest. Why they become pests? Simple example, as I gave you, 1,97,000 plants were cut from one highway, but not even a single plant. Where the insects will go? They'll have to go to wheat, they'll have to go to rice. Otherwise, Again, Guru Nanak says, Sal Patharme Jantu Pai, that he gives food even to those animals who are there in the water, hot water, springs, in the, in the mountains. He gives everything to them. And but why they become the pest? Because we remove their food. Next slide. So all these trees cut like that, and the animals have to go and become as pests. We are entangled in this kind of vicious uh, web. Next slide. So see, uh, this is now this is a beautiful slide. What the mosquitoes are telling us, thanks to mankind for creating a hell for themselves and heaven for them. Now see, A.D. Stephen Sai lives in your South India at the top floor, high rise buildings. Your A.D.'s elbow pictures and A.D.'s Egypti has moved to your coolers and other air conditioners. So we have changed our houses from uh, used to be uh, physically uh, state and now we have vertical development and animals they are changing their habitats their niches next slide so that's why they say thanks to humankind so more cholera more hunter virus more encephalitis more dengue more malaria every 30 seconds still a one person is dying in the world the world because because of, because of malaria 6,000 people die in a year, almost every day in the world. And billions of people, they have died. And because all wars, if we combined, malaria has killed more people. And what's happening to dengue, cancer, waterborne diseases, and now this COVID. Next slide. So mosqu mosquitoes, rodents, and other animals, and other viruses, this is malaria, as I told you, kills 6,000 per day. Most of the victims are women and children because all these vector-borne diseases, women and children, they are at home. Most of the countries, as I told you, there is there was no gender adaptation till 2008. Now, uh, inter-government panel, they are saying that we have to have a uh, that kind of gender adaptation. Women, they can lead their role. Next slide. So that's why, because women and children are at home, they are mostly affected by Aedes aegypti and other. Uh, species next next slide so vector borne diseases water this is Aedes aegypti next slide so they are we are suffering a lot all these viruses they are increasing the purpose is that we live on a planet which has become malarious which has become like covet which has become like dingy planet because we are cutting the forest and we are having niches of these kind of animals next slide so that means this is a Kolkata scene see the insecticide pesticide he is pouring in and the kid is just looking at it that's people are so casual about things next slide so this whole world uh, particularly in India women and children as I said they are the most sufferers because of these vector borne diseases next slide because this species bites them in the morning every 30 seconds a person is dying, hanging is ready because they are being killed by malaria and other uh, virus diseases. Next. Next slide. Next slide. You see, these are some of the places around your houses. I have the photographs. How these species, they are changing themselves. You are constructing a house. How casual we are and how they live around us and how the whole India. In Punjab, there used to be no dengue cases. Up to 1996, now whole villages, every village of Punjab is suffering. Dengue has come like any any big disease. Next slide. 
these are some of the breeding places now when we killed uh, we had a dengue first time in ludhiana in 96 it was in a tire market and uh, i was the only person working on mosquitoes at that time in punjab so we could see these samples we could destroy them uh, at these places same thing happened in delhi many times so tires we are so casual we throw all these tires in the tire market that's it. you see these six places we use so many cups in the marriages so many nariel coconut these are the breeding places around your houses for Aedes aegypti next slide we threw everything as i told you these are the breeding places next slide so we have to uh, think many times that neat clean and those kind of uh, environment where our, where our gurus and where our uh, Krishna used to say, say, even Krishna says in Gita that you have to be like a turtle. You have to control yourself. You have to be contented. You have not to be too much greedy. And if you like a turtle, bring your appendages out when you need food and other things. Don't, don't put so much corruption, don't so much money that your six generations, seven generations, they eat that. Next slide. In India, now the corruption is to the maximum and that's one of the reason so this is some of the diseases elephant yes is another that uh, so many people are suffering this year people suffer last year even in gorkhpur japanese encephalitis was there different kind of encephalitis were there they were happening so many kids we lost in gorkhpur next slide we have great opportunities we have molecular biology we have remote sensing we have information technology but still we have failed at many levels so that means all these opportunities are with us, but we could not control so far vector borne diseases. Millions of rupees they have gone to gutters, but we have not been able to uh, control vector borne diseases and humans are suffering. Next slide. We do a lot of analysis in the lab. All of us are 24 hours on WhatsApp, Facebook, doing analysis. And too much analysis, I feel, leads to paralysis. That's why most of the people, they are suffering from spondylitis, back pain, and others. Next slide. So we have to think. We have to have beautiful forest around us. We have to have a morning walk because human health is so important. We are becoming intel inside, but mental outside because we are always stuck to computers, though it is need of the hour, but we have to give some time to us that we have to go. Now, taxonomists are not there in this country. Taxonomy is known as a back kind of backward science. I tell you, I'm a taxonomist, discovered more than 125 species of moths and still many, many genres. But it's a beautiful science. It has given me an opportunity to move to all kind of weathers in India, all kind of forest in India and the world. So we have to be little bit nature loving. Next slide. We have not to become intel inside and mental outside. Otherwise, badi mushkil se hum bandro se kehte hain, bane hain, a kya time a jayega? We have to move again on, you know, all the time you are bending yourself. So please, it's not going to be a retrogressive evolution. Just joking. And uh, next slide. So we have to bother about our environment. We have to bother about. So that's ne next slide. Uh, you can skip this. So. When we talk about all these issues, we have to take all these things, not casually, not remotely. We have to think very, now in millions of rupees we spend on marriages, we throw all these plastic things in Punjab I have seen, and later on that's why every village has become dengue prone. Next slide. Next slide. Cutting edge thing, technologies are there, but still we are not. Uh, now you see what kind of strategies and what kind of problems we are just having an order from the central government to do this. We don't know it's a local problem. If it's a local problem, we have to tackle it locally. If it's a global problem, then you have to that kind. So our problems and programs, they are not uh, given that kind of importance, thought, and we are ruled by so many people which are not educated. That's why I'm finding in many committees in ICMR, millions and billions of rupees they are wasted but we are not able to control uh, all these kind of uh, things. Next slide. Next slide. Yeah. 
so when we produce more we consume more and we refuse more aur hamari aadatein bhi aisi ban gayi hai kai baar hum mummy aur daddy dono service karte hain bacche ko bolte hain ki bachcha pizza kha lena wohi din aata hai jab pizza kha kha ke bachcha pije jaisa ho jata hai uski health kharab ho jati hai so the kind of environment we have done it lot of unemployment economic growth people used to have big money bahut sare ameer ho gaye bahut se gareeb reh gaye zyada violence hoti hai so we have to change this kind of environment also we have to become people friendly aapne dekha hoga ki crore logon ko now people are giving food in the gurudwaras during covid time they have to be help so otherwise hame uh, apna andar ka environment bhi aur bahar ka environment bhi theek karna padega next slide need of the hour within 5 minutes i'll be now uh, completing my talk so need kya hai we have to do capacity building hame school se leke college se leke aur har jagah mein we have to build up we have to tell people they have to become environmentalist they have to bother for their environment that capacity building is must surveillance and rapid response we have to do self determination and we have to develop partnerships we have to shift from curative programs to preventive programs we have to depend upon these things otherwise if we start it from very uh, as i said if mothers why gender adaptation why women have to be there everywhere because millions of women they are dying in asian countries because they burn biomass they don't know that what kind of gases they consume because they have never been taught about those things so that's why need of the hour is we have to start capacity building and this has to start from home then your schools then your colleges then your universities then we have to make everybody as an environmentalist you see these countries european countries particularly switzerland people they were fighting election on the environmental issues but how much we are bothering we have very few environmentalists in the country and that's why we have suffered a lot next slide so need of the hour is that we have to make our children five areas they are big concern as i told you urbanization climate change globalization natural disasters now we are sometimes you know we cannot do anything so so we have to look upon these areas next slide so we have to develop partnerships we have to do team work we have to make because this country country is a, a countries of young, a young younger generation when proud of that and we have to make them uh, environment friendly and environmentalist next slide and when it is a teamwork everybody has to together everybody can uh, achieve it so we have to make this uh, kind of uh, in the country everybody has to uh, start this kind of things benefit of teamwork and environment they are great great to the human health great to a country we have to uh, conserve our biodiversity otherwise 1.75 million species which are there on this planet out of 8.7 million religion says 8.4 million 83 lakh jun veda say 8.4 millions it's very near now science and religion that's why einstein said science without religion is lame and religion without science is blind so when he says more science i do more religious i am becoming so i am i'm sometimes wondering how great our religions was and how people were great so we were so uh, environment friendly next slide next slide so this is a general thing last slide people used to say same three things last slide uh, sec isse piche wali dikhaiye zara pani ke bare mein hai last slide before you make this slide go to the back slide i started uh, this campaign about uh, uh, 20 years back i said grow plants not mosquitoes the teen cheeze no chalti thi save water refuse recycle and somebody wrote in a paper that uh, mosquito bite so that means the kind of bite which mosquitoes gives us we never bother about it but generally we have to stop these mosquitoes stop these vector borne diseases so i say grow plants not mosquitoes that means your environment should be like that that you have not allowed them to grow and it's only possible if we keep balance in the biodiversity next slide so this is the last slide which i am showing you on the screen if you go quickly through it 
you see it has it is giving us so much so much that if you seriously see it we have to conserve we have to recycle we have to renew reforest replenish litigate legislate mitigate minimize penalize pressurize prosecute law to ban jate hain lekin nobody obeys so let's every breath we take we are polluting the environment and we do all these things we conserve we recycle we renew we reforest lot of plants now in punjab we are celebrating 550 years of guru nanak as he was biodiversity lover now we have set every will is to grow 550 trees now guru nanak belongs to everyone why this country every village every state adopts it and we grow 550 trees in every village around our panchayat around our towns let's make this country and increase our forest cover i think things will become natural as it has become in covid now the sky is clear i am finding jugnus potius beetles around me so many things i watch so we have to become uh, like that next slide i'm concluding within half a minute so every citizen has this responsibility we have to this kind to of do uh, because giving lectures on your specialization but we have all teachers all these people if we adopt it we have to go out and tell people no we have to have this biodiversity and environment around us clean and healthy environment is for everyone next slide let's join hands next slide that's the last slide punjab used to have 6 feet people 90% of the uh, sacrifices if you see all the kind of they have gone to gallows for this country and they are still fighting this ghatak platoon which killed so many people one sikh boy from mansa killed 11 11 or 12 chinese on that day he was 22 years he was from my uh, site and he killed because he had that kind of power he is not taking to drugs he is believing in that kind of uh, will have a beautiful punjab will have a beautiful country hamara punjab hasega hamara haryana hasega hamara desh hasega so we have to become environmentalists thank you very much i think i have said what i wanted to say and my time is i think almost over thank you everybody thank you all thank you thank you professor it's really a wonderful uh, presentation by our uh, great professor jagbir singh He had given like everything in a complete thing in a in a, just an one hour. The, the the we are that much we are giving a much damage to the mother earth in the form of pollutants. And he explained a, a different slides with the beautiful colorful pictures about the plastic havoc in our country, which has to be banned immediately. And he also rightly stated that the plastic should be banned. At the same time, how can what's the solution that we can bring in by collecting? Collecting the uh, the plastic bags every day, every month, every year. By that, we can prevent complete plastics, the void of plastics of our country. Gave that solution also. And another interesting slide that we are really enjoyed, sir, is the comparison of the collection of water in the, those days and the collection of water the, the, the present day. Is really a fantastic slide. And uh, again, I, I propose that. Itself, we use yeah. because I take two yeah. water from the nose itself. Yeah, you are you are right, please. You are correct, sir. It's a great advice to all the people of our country, so that we can make our country a a beautiful mother earth. So we we follow your good advice, sir. That's a very good Thank advice. You, and also, professor emphasized the six need of the hours like uh, self determination, surveillance, capacity building, development of partnership, purity to prevention, rational approach. Is it really this this uh, need of the hour? Definitely, everyone has to follow. thanks to your good uh, good uh, point out uh, this says then he also pointed out the number of opportunities that we get and if we, if we started doing the complete damage to earth and if we started doing only the computer work etc then we'll become go to a retrogative evolution he is he said at a very interesting a humorous slide that intel inside but will become mental outside you are you are absolutely correct professor you are absolutely correct the people has to change Everyone has to change. 
we must save our earth by all means your all advisors and your all experience counts a lot to all of the participants and all of us that we will make our earth very clean swachh bharat hum hum environment ko damage karo to hum sharir bhi kharab hogi this is a very clear indication from our great professor jagdeep singh we understand that and all other participants i kindly request and uh, we will follow the jagdeep singh's uh, complete lecture excellent lecture and uh, I, I, with a great uh, with great enthusiasm uh, all of our organizers on behalf i am very much thank you professor thank you jagdeep singh professor you are a wonderful lecture is a great great reward for all of us to have along with us it's a really is a wonderful start of our conference with a grand style lecture by our uh, professor jagdeep singh sir we, we are very very happy and very pleased that if you can you answer two or three questions from our participant side sir kindly i'll be happy, I'll I'll be very happy. happy. okay sir from one participant uh, tejshree uh, asking that uh, replacing with bags for plastic uh, plastic bags will it be good sir will it be good and sufficient for our country this is the first question from tejshree yeah you see as i told you that removing plastic immediately from every part from everything is difficult biscuits are packed sugar is packed first thing i gave the example that we should just stop carry bags yeah because yeah, people yeah, carry bags and they are so bad and so only 1% they are recycled so at least our all stations our sewage system our cities they'll become clean and we have other plastic we can slowly and slowly because few years back your grand grandmother your fathers i i keep sir one uh, bag in my car it can last for four five years cloth bag so that means you have not to carry seven uh, bags and come from the market and throw it outside so first yes, thing yes. is if 130 crore indians only they stop carrying carry bags later on we can slowly and slowly think about other plastic and all things Good. that's a big bigger environmental hazards and also you are rightly stated that we everyone has to start collecting the plastics bag from the environment that's a greatest uh, solution that we can give you are rightly said sir you told in your lecture we we yes. follow that. yeah so second question from one riha parvin he asks that uh, innovations are very much nowadays these innovations are a big threat for the environment and world pardon innovations are enormous nowadays Yes. are they being a threat for environment and world nowadays yeah as i told you innovations they, they used to they should be there but we are over exploiting everything yeah. cutting edge technology as i said because now you see you can just imagine you are putting whole night burning good night and other things mosquitoes are being repelled by that but we are breathing whole night with that yeah and yes, so yes, yes, yes. that That's can correct. save us why to use all these insecticide pesticide too much so that means innovation are there people are using many kind of uh, you know we are always doing fish fish with all so many scents and all that but we never see that how much it destroys yeah. us we are putting so many carpets and other thing modern things in the houses but we do not know how many mites and allergies they cause For to preservation us so that means environmental environmental politics they have to be, yeah they have to be used it very sensitively yes sir Yes, sir. You are you are absolutely correct. And uh, last question, sir. Last question from Prabhu Kumar. Yeah. Uh, he, he asked that a lot of technology is being used to recycle the plastics in China, but in India, why that technology is being not adopted? What is the status right now in India? That is when I visited China first time. Even uh, Taiwan and other countries, I used to see lot of. Uh, but now they have segregated the plastic so nicely they have oh. keeping all those three separate separate bins and you know you take it and recycle it in a proper way and that kind of things should be there in, in india the things which can be but ultimately again sir plastics when they are recycled uh, now people are using you know in india recycled plastic that is not good for health mm -hmm. yeah yeah we are giving colorful things and people uh, kids take food in those bags and all these things thing is they should be recycled they should be properly you know thrown uh, in proper places but in india still this uh, has to be there how many kind of uh, things we keep in have in home we never keep all those three boxes for glasses for kitchen garbage for other things 
how many of us has gone for uh, this uh, re uh, this compost uh, making in the, in the homes we yeah. have to go for organic things we have to go for good things only then our health will be good so we should desist from such kind of things which are proving really health hazard for us because sir, if health is not there nation will not be there health yeah. is very important now in indian system because you are having enough uh, immunity that's why very few deaths are there otherwise in such a large country covid could have taken lot of lot people yes sir so we yes. will have to learn from these countries uh, because if they are saving 30 million barrels of oil why can't we do so oil is very costly in, in india so sure. we have yeah. to follow leads from such leading countries also now you should see small small countries like rwanda i have given an example they have mm -hmm. made their contribute banning all these plastics and what happened in kerala you see whole things came out mm. again they were going to and it was all uh, carry bags and all that our systems are choked our 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 health is suffering we have to make our rivers neat and clean we have to uh, use all these technologies now how many treatment plants are there on the rivers why ganges yeah. is you know all 50 uh, big houses they are putting everything in ganges satluj is a rotten river we send so much polluted water whole rajasthan is suffering from cancer because punjab's ludhiana is putting every industry heavy metal effluents in satluj and the water is so toxic all uh, dolphins which used to be there in harike patan near the border it's a big lake largest lake in asia now there are no dolphins because the water has become so toxic so we have to think about all these things otherwise yeah. Uh, we have uh, will suffer more sir yes yeah yes sir yes sir so uh, as uh, that as we all uh, follow your advice sir that to conserve the forest we should recycle the forest we should renew the water reforestation legislation etc grow plant plants not mosquitoes yeah. we, we accept your, we accept your ideas and very very great thanks to our eminent professor jagbir singh wonderful Thank session is really a good start for our conference sir thank you from the organizer thank you thank, thank you, you very much all the best thank you sir sir i am highly pleased yes, thank, thank you, you.